So you made it to the second disc of a PlayStation game that you're playing via an emulator through a Raspberry Pi, through a RetroPie. But there is no one button load the disc feature, and you can't just load your game onto disc 2 because the file state is for disc 1. It's kind of a kind of a wacky thing, but there is a way you can do it. And um, I really wanted to do this because I wanted to play Police Knots, which is now translated uh, for the PlayStation. So, I finally beat disc 1. Here's how you load disc 2 so you can play uh, the continuation of your game. This works for Metal Gear Solid. This works for Final Fantasy 7. Any two-disc game, really, for, for the PlayStation. Ah, I love this. I love the Japanese Konami logo. Ta-da! All right. So this is disc one, and I'm going to load disc two. But first, got to load disc one, because that's what, that'll give you the prompt. So I'm going to continue my game. And, uh, yeah, it took me ten hours to be act. <laughs> Finally got to the end of it. Okay, disc two. If you click OK, nothing's going to happen, because you need to load disc two. Well, here's what you do. You got to open up the window by holding select and push triangle. And I'm using a um, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller for this. So whatever your triangle button might be, whatever whatever opens up this window for you. Um, if I'm playing through a PlayStation 3 controller, for me it's hold select and hit triangle. Quick menu. I'm hitting the circle button to initiate. Then I go down to disk control. All right. So we need to take out disk one virtually, and then virtually put in disk two. All right. So disk control. We have disk index, we have disk cycle tray status, which is basically, you know, cycling the disks from, you know, what you have. And then you have to load um, the disk as well. So, we're going to take out disk 1, cycle tray status, or status. There you go, ejected virtual disk tray. You just click the button once. That's all you gotta do. Now we gotta load in disk 2, alright? Uh, click uh, the disk image append. We'll give you a directory here. Go down to home, pi. RetroPie, this will look familiar here. Go to your ROMs. And then in my uh, PSX, I need to load Disk 2. Now, of course, if you're playing Metal Gear Solid 2, then you'll, or, you know, you'll, or Metal Gear Solid, rather, you'll load up your Metal Gear Solid Disk 2, or whatever it might be. So, there we go. Setting in Disk Tray 2. If you click OK, well, look at that. Ta-da! And now... The file is loaded. You can view the summary screen to find out what happened. I don't want to spoil it too much for you, but we're going to go from here on to disk three, and then you can go ahead and save your state and save your game, and then you can go from here for uh, for disk two-ness. And I'm going to start act three, drug. Love me some police knots. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Um, I did not know how to do this, um, so I reached out to some people on Twitter, and uh, fortunately a couple people had some info on me and from there I kind of pieced together what I could and figured it out so thank you for watching and hopefully it's uh hopefully this answered your question if it was exactly what you're looking for <laughs> if you have any other retro pie tips let me know in the comments below thank you much take care next time we'll see ya